Ladies and gentlemen, if you own a property in Southern Nevada here in Clark County and it's your primary residence, you're going to want to pay attention to this slideshow, to this information, because it could save you several thousand dollars next year. Um, and potentially you might be able to get some sort of rebate um, from anything that you might have overpaid last year, but you're going to need to take action and we're going to show you exactly what to do today. Today, we're talking about the Clark County Property Tax Abatement Program. Um, and once again, this is for people who own properties in Clark County in Southern Nevada. And this could potentially apply to investment properties. If you're wondering, if you're a landlord and you're wondering, well, does this apply to my property? Um, pay attention. I've got information for you on that as well. Okay, so if you own a home in Clark County, the property tax cap is up to 8%. Unless you take advantage of the Clark County Tax Abatement Program, which would reduce the cap to 3%. We, I checked my, one of my properties. Um, I think it was $5,600 or, or close to $6,000. Just reducing that cap uh, down to 3% from 8%, um, potentially saving well over $3,000, okay? And, and here's why this is important. Because the property taxes are based on the assessed value. Ladies and gentlemen, the assessed value is calculated by the value of your land plus the cost of the improvements on that land. So what does it cost to build your house? What does it cost to put in your pool? Well, four years ago, the cost of putting in the pool might have been $35,000 to $40,000. Now the cost of putting in a pool in a backyard is well over $100,000. Go ask anybody about that. The cost of building a home has gone up. The cost of labor, the cost of lumber, the cost of the materials, the cost of the land, it's all gone up. So the assessments are likely to go up and having a tax cap at 3% if you own a property as a primary residence and for those that qualify as a landlord for their investment properties and rental properties, having that tax cap at 3% is probably a lot more beneficial than 8%, won't you agree? This is Danny Fee, Keller Williams Realty Las Vegas and I'm here to help you save several thousand dollars today if you own a property here in Clark County, Nevada. Let's just look at this real quick. Um, we'll briefly go over it. The Nevada state legislature has passed a law into uh, provide property tax relief to all citizens. Um, NRS 361.4723 provides a partial abatement of taxes by applying a 3% cap on the tax bill of the, pro of the owner's primary residence, that is single family houses, townhouses, condominiums, or manufactured homes. Only one property may be selected in the state of Nevada as a primary residence, some rental dwellings that meet the low income rent limits may also qualify for a 3% cap tax bill. So if you own a rental property out here, um, we're going to tell you what those qualifying rent limits are. A cap of up to 8% on the tax bill will be applied to residences that are not owner occupied. So if it doesn't qualify for that low cap and you're renting it out and it's not owner occupied, the cap's up to 8%. Um, and the thing to notice here, why this is so important and imminent right now, following the fiscal year. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is June 29th, 2022. The fiscal year ends on the 30th. You want to email this form in before that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's save some money. Okay. Rental affidavit letters will be sent out to the owners of the residential rental dwellings in April or May of each year. So listen, um, if it's a rental property and or if you're the primary residence, they're sending these letters out. You probably already got this and you might not have known what it meant. If you lost that card or you just threw it away because you didn't understand what the heck it was. Well, we're going to show you how to take care of that right now. So for those of you who have the rental properties. These are the rent limits to which your property would be eligible. If it's a five bedroom property, you can't be charging more than $2,021. Four bedroom property, $1,757. If it's a three bedroom property, $1,446. Two bedroom property, $979. And those are the limits right there. If your rents are under those amounts, you can have this, you can, I believe, qualify for this tax abatement program and have the cap down to 3% instead of 8%. Um, okay, listen to this. If you've recently, maybe you've taken advantage of this program. 
maybe you've already filled this card out, but did you know if you refinanced the home since you've sent this card in to have this tax abatement uh, program, you know, applied to your property, if you've refinanced it, put it into a trust, change the ownership in any way, um, that can that can affect, and you have to redo this like right now before before today. So how do we do that? Um, real quick, if you want to verify this information, the the Clark County's uh, assessor's office is right there, 702-455-3882. And the source, of course, is the Clark County NV.gov um, government website. Let's just go out real quick so I can show you what's going on here. This is where I got the information from. This is uh, an official website from Clark County, Nevada, the tax abatement program. All the information that we just went through in that slide is right there on that page. Um, you can get there by just simply doing a Google search for Clark County Tax Abatement Program. Okay, so listen, if you go to the Clark County uh, website, they have the information posted here. That's where it shows you the deadline, June 30th, 2022. This is on the Clark County Treasurer's Office. If you go to government, Go down to treasure you're going to see that there if you go to um clark county government and you go to assessor you're going to see this information on what to do right on the front page like listen we are currently experiencing high call volumes to file a tax cap card click here boom you click there this is the form you need to fill out ladies and gentlemen Let's see if i can get this minimized a little bit okay you gotta all you have to do is put your real property parcel number here and you might be thinking well where is what is i don't even know what my real property parcel number is right i'm going to show you how to get that go back to the clark county assessor's office and like literally if you don't know how to get to the clark county just go to google and type in clark county nevada website if you go there it's going to be right here very first clark county nv.gov okay Go to government, go to assessor. Okay. If you don't know your parcel number, scroll down here and go to a real property and do a property search. Real property records. And we're not going to search by parcel number because we're trying to figure out what our parcel number is. Like just go in here and put your address. Okay. So you go to address and you put in your street number. So whatever your address is, so look, it'll have a list here of pretty much anything on that street. And this is your parcel number. So for us, we would just copy and paste that number, copy. And then we go to that form, paste. You're gonna select that box. You'd put in your address here. Okay, so this section to be completed for residential properties owner only. This is where you're making your declaration. Okay, so is this your primary residence? For me, this would be no. This is a rental property, and it's rented for more than the the cap. So I would, if I was doing this property, I'd put no. If it's for you, you know, and it's your primary, you put yes. This property is a rental property. For you, if it's not a rental property, you put no. And then you just print that out, sign and date it. And listen, this is the most important part. This is what has to be done before the end of the day. I think more likely before the end of the day tomorrow, but just do it today. You're going to email that form after you print it out and sign it to that website. Okay. And that is pretty much it. How do you know whether or not your property qualifies or even needs to have this action taken on the Clark County uh, Treasure website? There is a section where you go to the property account inquiry. It's a summary screen. Uh, summary screen, um, and then right here it's going to tell you where your cap is. This one's eight percent. Again, I can't change this one because it doesn't qualify for that lower limit. Um, because we have a four bedroom and we charge more than that, so this property wouldn't apply. But if you have a rental property and you go to the number of bedrooms and you're charging less rent than what you see over here. You can fill out this form and take advantage of the tax.
of being broke. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that that was helpful. The next video we're going to be talking about the short-term rental laws that have just recently gone into effect here in unincorporated Clark County. There are a lot of property owners who are renting homes um, that are no longer legally going to be able to do this um, for Airbnb and Verbo because of the laws here. So check back for the video on that. And with that said, I hope that this information was helpful. Once again, this is Danny Fee with Keller Williams Realty, Las Vegas. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas real estate, reach out. I'm happy to help you. I've been doing this for eight years. I've helped over 200 families or owners or clients um, buy, sell, and invest in Las Vegas real estate. I hope that this property tax abatement information was helpful. And if you ended up saving money from watching this video and taking action on filling out that form and sending it in, I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to send me a direct message and let me know about your experience. Um, maybe we'll even bring some of you guys on a video just to see you know, how easy it was and literally how much money you might have saved. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you on the next video.